Yo, my boys, look, we're going to do th th this one. This one we're about to do. This career, something we're about to do is close to my heart. Y'all see who on the screen. It's J.J. McCarthy. And besides him doing some of the craziest stuff in the background of some of our career sims, you know, for instance, the Penix, you know, for instance, the Daniels, for instance, when we did Bo Nix, he's always doing some wild stuff. Besides that, he's probably my favorite quarterback in this draft class. And yes, I'm a homer. I'm a Michigan fan. And I haven't seen a quarterback this good at Michigan in quite a long time. I might cry when this man leaves the school. He's beat Ohio State not once, not twice, three times. <laughs> three times. There's not a quarterback I love more, man. I'm going to just be honest with you. I, I, I feel like, you know, best quarterback in Michigan. Is, I mean, the last time we had a quarterback this good, Chad Henney. I mean, no offense to Tom Brady, but he wasn't really a dog at Michigan. J.J. been a dog. He going to get us another Big Ten championship. But as far as being a draft prospect, I think the highest you can put J.J. McCarthy is probably four. And, that, you know, and that, I'm going to take Shadour out of here. We don't really know what he's going to do, but my thoughts is he's probably going to stay at school another year and go and move on with Travis Hunter and his brother in the following draft in 2025. However, I mean, J.J. is good, man. I, it's just I watch so much of J.J., maybe I don't like, maybe I'm my mind's deluded to how good he really is. But he's really, really good. And he, and he wins. Now, the other thing is he doesn't throw the ball as much as some of these other guys. Caleb Williams, Drake May, Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nick, Shadur Sanders, even Quinn Ewers. He just doesn't because Michigan is a running team. Let's just be honest. Blake Corm is the guy leading the team and that great offensive line. So he doesn't throw the ball as much as some of these other guys. Which is why it'll be interesting to see once we get to the draft process where he ends up falling. Could he end up late first round? Definitely. But in my mind, could end up more like second round. All because, like I said, he doesn't throw a lot. Because he usually doesn't have to. Michigan is usually up in a lot of their games, and then it's pretty much just toting the ball from there. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. So y'all already know the deal. Right now, I'm on the Dallas Cowboys. We will not stay on them. We will get to whatever team J.J. McCarthy is on as we go ahead and I am going to send to the draft. I will see you guys there. So, as y'all looking at it, we're going to try to figure out where my boy went. Because I'm going down the list here, going down the list here. Okay, he went at the... Ooh, wee, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, so first round, 29th pick. And where my boy J.J. McCarthy went. That is not bad. Y'all will see me week one, as y'all already know. And we will check out the roster and see if J.J. is the starter. Usually the quarterback for the Bucs is the starter because I think Baker Mayfield is gone. Okay. We are in week one of the regular season for the 2024 season. And J.J. McCarthy is the starter week one. This Bucs team is not bad. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. Rashad White, is that Rashad White? I don't, I don't want to get his name wrong. Yeah, Rashad White, I thought so. I mean, the team's not bad. Got two superstar offensive linemen. Defensively, we're kind of getting older. Uh, Vita Van is still here. Decent corners. The secondary, as uh, safety-wise, is a lot younger. And then Devin White, J. Tryon Shoyanka. I always get that name wrong. Joe Tryon Shoyanka. And then... Levante David to Riley Bet as well. Now, this is a pretty good team for a young quarterback. The question is going to be, we want to, since he is starting, and we've had a few that has been on the bench to start, we want, since he is starting, to get him in the right system right away. Now, when I think of J.J. McCarthy, he's a mobile guy. We know that right off the bat. He has some good arm strength and makes some crazy throws, but... I it's kind of hard for me to think who he reminds me of. Who can he be? I mean, not Kansas City. That's, that just doesn't make any sense. Dallas, no. Miami, no. Philly. 
Like, this is kind of a tough one. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really thought about this one. Detroit, no. Not just running the ball, right? Um... Las Vegas, no. The Rams, no. Ball, he's not. He's not Lamar. Seahawks, possibly. Seahawks is an interesting one. Minnesota. I feel like we might need to go Minnesota. Either Minnesota or San Francisco. I feel like we're going to go Minnesota. The reason I'm going Minnesota is because. He has a number one receiver in Mike Evans and has a young rookie quarterback. That's who he should be getting the ball to. We don't really have any more dynamic weapons. No disrespect to Chris Godwin. Just a little older and in Madden, not really as good. So, I will see you guys at the midseason point and we will see how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are doing. One and five. Okay, that, that's that's not ideal. I'll, I'll be honest, that's not ideal. Uh, J.J. McCarthy so far this season. Seven touchdowns, three interceptions, 1,300 yards is actually pretty good though. Receiving wise... Mm, not great. Uh, Mike Evans is the number one target. He has played all the games, 332 yards, one touchdown. I'm looking at receptions. The uh, number one as far as production is Russell Gage with 365, three touchdowns. Chris Godwin, 360 yards and three touchdowns. 31st ranked offense is pretty bad, though. That That's unfortunate. Okay, so the first season looks like it's going to be a wash. Patrick Mahomes, Quinn Ears, and Jalen Hurts are the guys that are dominating at the moment. We'll go ahead and send to the playoffs. I doubt we're making it, but we can be optimistic. We can hope. We're going to start 5-12. and 12. So, I mean, we got a little better, but not a lot better. However, J.J. McCarthy, second half of the season really started to come on. So, 3,900 yards, 24 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Not so, actually, I mean, for a rookie, I'll take that. I'll take that. He really stepped up second half of the season, increased his yards. 24 touchdowns is nasty. Rushing rods, we, we do not have a running game. J.J. McCarthy was moving around a little bit, however. Receiving-wise, Mike Evans really stepped into it, helped the rookie out. 1,100 yards, only one touchdown. Russell Gage and Chris Godwin, both over 900 yards and both eight-plus touchdowns. So, not bad for the first season. Still the 26th-ranked offense. I feel like maybe we should stay in this scheme for now. I'm just going to check NFC and see if there's any chance he won Offensive Rookie of the Year. He was fourth on the list behind Donovan Edwards, the Michigan running back, crazy, Quinn Ears, and Caleb Williams. Okay, first season not terrible, but obviously, hopefully we get some more young talent in here to help him out that can grow with him. And hopefully the team overall just gets better. We will take it to the Super Bowl week. And see if we have any increases in devs. Let's go ahead and check that out. That would be ideal. Y'all already know that though, right? Like, okay, so no increases in dev. JJ, however, is a star dev. We can go ahead and look at his stats here if you guys need to. Pause the video. Not bad. Great throw power. Decent accuracies. Agile. Good change of direction. Pretty doggone good. And he's only 21 years old. So, not an older guy, so he has time, especially since he was the day one starter. Defensively, it's pretty much the same thing. We, we really haven't changed as much. So, let's go ahead and get to next season. I will see you guys there. Hopefully, we bring in some talent. So, now we have a young rookie running back. Rashad White is hurt, so that's probably going to change. Offensively, we just added Darius Slayton. We also added this rookie receiver, Jaden Johnson. What is what? This is like the second video, y'all. Go check out. I'll put it in the description. You know, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Go check out the video. I'm, I'm going to put it in the description of my boy, Bo Nix. And you see what type of receivers he was playing with. This is hot garbage. 85 speed. Hidden dev, though, at 6'5". At least he's got size. Defensively. Pretty much the usual suspects. Levante David is gone now, so it's Devin White show. And we brought in Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa, so that's actually pretty good. The main thing is we're just looking for production and progression. You know what I'm saying? This is only his second season. We're looking for a little bit of a jump here. Let's get to the midseason point. Four and three. That is where we're at. Let's go ahead and look at the stats for my boy. 
Oh my gosh. He's leading the league in yards with 1,800 and what? <clears throat> Let me get this right. 1,851 yards, 14 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. He's running around not as much this season, which is which is good. 444 yards and four touchdowns for Rashad Wright. Receiving-wise, Darius Slayton has seemed to be what opens this offense up at 589 yards and seven touchdowns. Mike Evans is also doing his thing still at an older age, and Chris Godwin is the second guy up at 568, four touchdowns. Now, last season, we took a huge jump in the second half, and that's when Mike Evans started to get going. So hopefully he can do that this season, and that's how we get in the playoffs. Seven and six. We must have the we must have the first seed, right? We do! This might be the first quarterback ever to get a first round bye. What in the name? And look at oh crap. Let me take off the shades. J.J. McCarthy, year two, his interceptions are still kind of wild. 4,300 yards, 28 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Rushing wise, Rashad White went for 1,013 touchdowns. J.J. McCarthy, 242. Receiving wise, Darius Slayton, 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. Chris Godwin, 1,200 yards, 5 touchdowns. Mike Evans, 853 yards and 9 touchdowns. Once again, he got to go into the second half of the season. Oh, my gosh. And we're the 11th ranked offense. This is the first time I've seen this. I haven't had a guy get a first round by yet, I don't think. As we go ahead and get to the divisional round. And you guys already know we have to hop in. This should be special. JJ's first playoff game against Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, Dallas scored first, which is not ideal. However, JJ is back here. And he's ready to get it to freaking go. Let's go. Let's go. First throw. Oh my gosh. Hey, yo. JJ got the dots. JJ got the dots. I'm going to just let y'all know now. If y'all ever wonder, as Dallas challenged the call, it was uphill. If y'all ever wonder why I don't put accessories on the quarterbacks, I do try, man. It's just that EA has not really been able to fix importing a draft class this year. So it's been difficult. So every time you try to put accessories on, it, it doesn't work. That's pretty much what it is. It just doesn't work. So that's why none of the quarterbacks I can add because I know their college accessories. I, you know, I watch these guys. So I would add them. However, JJ, he gets this ball out a little quicker than the quarterbacks I've been playing with. Let's lock in here. Third and four. This could be a spot. Now, Dallas has some very good corners, as we know. Nice check down. Rashad White. Okay. And hey, JJ, JJ I, I like JJ. I definitely am having more fun with JJ than I had with Bo Nix missing every throw. Like, I almost lost my mind in that video. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Darius Slayton has been one of the guys. Uh, oh, my. My Evans caught it! No, it's meant for JJ to be goaded. No, it, it's meant for JJ to be goaded. Touchdown. Bang! I, 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 it's meant for him to be goaded. It is meant for him to be goaded. Oh my gosh. 7-3. We're going to run one more drive with him. We got to run one more drive. Let's see what we got here. Mike Evans over the top. He beats the press. I'm actually going this way. What is the? That is a dime. 14 to 10. Just like that oh my gosh that is wild jj is turning up right now he, he turn it he turn it up right now that is ridiculous as we go jj oh no i took a safety oh that's bad i'll run one more oh that's wait they didn't it wasn't a safety actually okay i thought i took a safety i guess they said i was out of the end zone Oh my god. Like, this is without abilities, too, y'all. Y'all got to remember that. Like, JJ has no abilities right now. So, he making these throws is really, really interesting. Okay. Dot. That. Ooh, we just got broken up. We're fine, though. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You got to wonder. 
Like when you're sitting here looking at it, you see how fast that ball is getting out. That was a nice sack by Odigizua. Good play by him. Okay, what does Coach have cooked up for us here that can get us all these yards back? To give us a chance to get back in the end zone. Oh my dog, JJ's getting it there. No, I like JJ. JJ's one of those. He's one of those guys. I'm convinced. I I, I can't. This is this is ridiculous. He's not missing throws. Like y'all saw, if y'all, I mean, I'm telling y'all, I this is the most accurate quarterback we've had so far. I don't know if it's the traits. I don't know what it is. No abilities. He's slinging the ball like this. Coach gave us that same route. Okay, good play by Diggs right there. That was a great play by Diggs. Okay, Coach is looking for a deep crosser here. I'm going to see Godwin on a slant. Rashad White going up the sideline. Could also be a guy. We're looking for if it's man. JJ. J okay, either Darius Slayton is just that good or JJ is just not missing throws. And y'all got to tell me what y'all think in the comments. JJ might just not be missing throws, man. Oh, he just, that might have been a touchdown. I feel like that was a touchdown right there. That's, oh my God. Okay. Darius Slayton has been so good. It makes sense why he was so good in the offseason, like in the season. As we throw another one to him, and that's going to be a touchdown, Darius Slayton. And we get another touchdown with J.J. McCarthy. Special. It's special, man. It's special. We're going to go ahead and send from here on out, though. Let's see if J.J. can hold his own down the stretch. And it looks like he is holding his own. Oh, oh his own. My fault. As he's going down here. 31-16. Don't choke, J.J. Please don't choke. Could you be a quarterback to make it to an NFC championship game for us? As Dallas is forcing, they're forcing, they're forcing. They tie the game. J.J. Potentially leading. A game-winning drop. He got the field goal from none other than Michigan former kicker, Jake Moody. And Dallas scores. They're taking it to overtime. Never mind. Okay, yes, they're taking it to overtime. Dallas has ball first. They're moving the ball. They're moving the ball. They're moving the ball. Oh, my God. But J.J. will get a chance here. He's getting a chance, and he's pushing the ball down the field. Does he get in? He does it! Oh, my gosh. So, in his first playoff start, J.J. McCarthy goes four touchdowns, no interceptions. I mean, Darius Slayton had 280 receiving yards and three touchdowns. He dueled Dak Prescott. Some would even say, well, no, not even some. Everybody would pretty much say he outplayed him. More touchdowns and more yards. A lower completion percentage, though. And he lost an OT. What a start to a career. What I mean, this is only a second season. I can't wait to see where this goes. You got to think of Super Bowls and then the cards for this man. What a game. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to the Super Bowl week. And see where we're at. Hopefully we got some dev trade upgrades. And we can go from there. But that was wild. As JJ is still a star. Definitely going up overall wise. The team. Uh, Mike Evans didn't go down. Chris Godwin still a star. We don't know what our young receiver is yet. He didn't play enough. Defensively. The usual suspects. We also have this young guy. Ron Rodney Murray. 95 speed, great zone. Probably should be playing more safety, not corner. But a great second season. Let's go ahead and get to season number three. I will see you guys there, man. Here three. This is pretty much the team. Mike Evans has pretty much gotten older and no longer is a superstar, so that sucks. Chris Godwin's still pretty decent. Darius Slayton is still here. Now we also, I know. I'm not saying now also because I think Trey Palmer was always here. We just didn't see him. I don't see our young rookie that was here. Oh, there he is. This guy right here, Jaden Johnson. 
he lost his dev, I think, because he didn't play. So that sucks. We have a young tight end that looks promising. Offensive line got a little worse because I believe our center retired. Defensively, Devin White is now a superstar, which is nice. Pretty much the same usual people, though. Nothing really has changed defensively. Hopefully, though, another playoff push. That would be huge. And we're just going to advance straight to the playoff this year. We are in year three. I'm looking for big things. Made the wild card again. I mean, I, I mean, it's special, man. He really, JJ might be that guy. Uh, pretty decent season here. 3,700 yards, 22 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Yards went down, touchdowns went down, but the interceptions also went down. So I guess you'll take that. Rashad White was not as good receiving-wise. Chris Godwin, 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Darius Slayton, 894, 10 touchdowns. Mike Evans, 866, 3 touchdowns. This season, however, we will go ahead and sin this week. Let's see if we can beat the Atlanta Falcons. We do. And we got a rematch with Dallas. Oh, man. Can we beat Dallas? We're in the conference championship. I got to hop in. We haven't been in the conference championship with a quarterback. I, I don't feel like ever. I got to hop in. Hop in and play offense. I'll see you guys when we get in there. Okay, and we're four field for the NFC Championship game. J.J. McCarthy is back to where he played college ball. And there goes Aiden Hutchinson. His former teammate sacking him on the first play. That's wild. That, that's, that's wild. That's, that's not how we want to start this game. J.J. McCarthy. Oh! Oh! And Tristan Wirfs gets hurt. That's probably the worst thing that could happen. That is the worst thing that could happen. Coach loves this play. This little corner route nonsense. He loves this. But it's working. Darius Slayton. Dot. As J.J. McCarthy gets us ahead of the sticks right here. We haven't really been able to use J.J. McCarthy's legs as Detroit challenges. I don't know why they would challenge it. Clearly a first down. We're going to put Tristan Wirfs back in. I mean, it. this is, this is, this is special, though. This is special. All right, so, can we, Mike Evans. Mike, oh, I, he's gotten old and his hands have gotten brittle. That must be what's happened. There's no, what, there's just no way he drops that, right? There's no way he drops that. Okay. Uh, we're shot. Nope, never mind. This defensive line for Detroit is nasty. This is nasty. Ah. Do we want to go verts here? Coach wanted us to go verts. I don't know if I would have went verts here. But maybe Coach. Oh. Rashad White with a catch. We're a little bit past the 50. We're going to pull the trigger. This is for the NFC Championship game. We're a wild card team. What do we have to lose, right? This defensive line is a problem, though. A whole shot, JJ McCarthy. What a pass! Okay, 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 okay. I like Godwin here. Do we use JJ's legs? There's oh my god, who do they have? This is like the best defensive line we've seen. Like Aiden Hutchinson, and then you got these other guys, JJ being safe in the pocket. No way. Oh, do you know how crazy of a throw? Darius Slayton went out of bounds, so it's coming back. But do you know how crazy of a throw that would have been? Off the back foot, back shoulder, dime. Oh, my. No, nah, this is the best quarterback. This is the best one we've had so far. Another corner route. There goes our 6'5 target, Johnson. Nah, JJ's a problem. JJ's a problem. What do we see? I like Wallace. I like Wallace the tight end. I also like Johnson underneath. JJ? Okay. When I tell you guys right now, Aiden Hutchinson is just blowing by our defense. It's not even close. Like, he's just blowing by us. This is a... The post route, I don't know if it's going to be open. JJ's going to try to squeeze it. 
Nice hit by Brian Branch. Goodness. T trying to put Chris Godwin in the hospital is not what we're expecting. Okay. Um, The corner route has been affected. I will be honest. Trey Palmer, Mike Evans. JJ's goaded. No, JJ's goaded. Now, I led that inside. He put it perfectly in there. We got a quick hike. We got a quick hike. Quick hike. Quick hike. JJ McCarthy using his feet. And we're getting in, baby. Let's go, Jay. That's what I'm talking about. I got one more drive in the first quarter. And then we're going to let this one play out. If it must have been a turnover, we get a short field. JJ McCarthy. Oh, I feel like I just put... I he took a little bit off of it. That would have had to been a slinger. And he doesn't have any pass lead elite set feet. That doesn't have any of that yet. He's going to get some V keeps dominating like this in the league. Step up. Oh my. These are the first misses I've seen. First misses I've seen from when we're down here in the red zone where we need it. We need it. This could put them in the Super Bowl right here. We score here. There's a good chance. JJ. Slate, Slate, put, oh, don't hear footsteps. Oh, man. We're going to have to, they're going to have to take the three. Let's see if we can hold on, though, and JJ can get the dub. So, 10-7, JJ's moving the ball. The Lions are doing their thing. JJ gets the ball back, however. Pushing it, pushing They went for it on a fourth down, and they score. Oh, boy. This is wild. This is wild. Okay. Lions driving the field. They're going to go and get seven, it looks like they do. JJ gets the ball back. And he is being a monster. Pushes the ball down the field. The Lions pushing the ball down the field again. Going down, going down, going down. They're going to take their three. They tie the game. J no, they had to punt. No, 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 no. Somebody stop these Lions. Oh my, 31, they take the field goal. J.J. McCarthy's marching down the field. He's marching. He's marching. They went for it. No. Oh. They ended up going for it. I think. Oh my God. Okay, so. No, the field goal was blocked. So, J.J. McCarthy did everything he could. Player stats was going and looking at it. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Receiving while Darius Slayton, another huge game. And they can't get over the hump. As a wild card TV makes the NFC Championship game. That looked like it should have been the one, man. That hurts. That's going to sting. That's going to sting. Oh, my God. It looked like he had it. So, we're going to go ahead and get to the Super Bowl, see if there's any dev upgrades, and then we're probably going to jump a couple years. We've seen our first three years of J.J. McCarthy's career, and he's been electric. No dev upgrades, really, for the Tampa Bay. Oh, no, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa actually gets one, which is nice. Get another superstar linebacker out there since Devin White doesn't have it anymore. But what we will do now... As we will advance into 20, we'll go to 2030 and see how far JJ has gone and how many stats he has accumulated, maybe how many awards he has also been able to earn. I will see you guys in four years. Okay, so we have made it back to 2030. Not 2031, I was about to say 2031, but we had 2030. JJ McCarthy. Since we've been gone and still on the Tampa Bay Bucks, he has, uh, before we look at that, he has secured himself a great contract. So he is the franchise quarterback, it looks like. Now, here's what we're looking at. When we were gone, he had 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. 4,200 yards, 26 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. 3,800 yards, 27 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. And now starting this season off at 3 touchdowns, no interceptions. I am going to switch up the playbook this time around. To see if maybe we can unlock him into a different status. So let's go over here. Two team scheme. And we're going to go Buffalo. Buffalo is always one of the better 
playbooks for a quarterback with a big arm and also has some legs, aka Josh Allen. Now, I'm not ever going to say J.J. McCarthy has as big as an arm of Josh Allen. It's just the scheme we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. So don't don't come for me in the comments. Please do not. We are 0-2 to start this year, but I feel like we still going to make the playoffs. Let's go. What did I tell y'all? Playoffs bound. Let's go. 12-5 and five is pretty doggone special. J.J. McCarthy, he had his best statistical season. What did I tell you? Switch up that playbook. Let's make something happen. 4,300 yards, 29 touchdowns, three interceptions. Rushing-wise, he probably did some stuff on the ground. 380 yards and four touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Michael Johnson is his number one target. Now, let's look at this guy. 5'9", superstar receiver. 97 speed. He has somebody who can take the top off. David Witherspoon and Manny Gardner are also pretty good. Also has a pretty good tight end. I believe that is also a superstar. And Sterling Wallace. Defensively. I don't know why I went to that. We never go to that. Let's go and look at the yearly awards, though. J.J. McCarthy was fourth in MVP voting in the NFC. He did not get Offensive Player of the Year, but he was third in the voting. Best quarterback, he was third in the voting as well behind Shadur and Quinn Ewers. Fifth offense in the National Football League. And y'all already know we're not going to hop in this time. We're not going to hop in this time. We hopped in a lot earlier. So we're not going to hop in this time. Let's see if we can get past Drake May and the Seattle Seahawks. And we do. Next, let's see if we can get past the Chicago Bears. And we do. I got to hop. See, I, it's so hard not to hop in, y'all. Because we haven't had, the, like, this is our first quarterback to have multiple appearances here. And one more thing I'm going to check before we get too far into it and go into the game. Check the legacy score and tell me if J.J. McCarthy so far has any... He has two yearly awards. I wonder what they are. I'm guessing Pro Bowls. As he does have Superstar now, which is pretty interesting. Okay, so he did get a dev upgrade at some point. I don't want to touch that. That's not what we're looking at here. I'm trying to see... Let me go down here again. I'm just trying to see what awards does he have. Okay, a bunch of player of the weeks. That's for this season. You guys know we can't see that after this season. But, actually, I wonder. That'll actually be something interesting. Is that? Now, I think that's only for the current season, right? Because we've never seen anybody else get those. Two Pro, two pro Bowl appearances is what we got so far. And they have him ranked as a franchise quarterback. Now, y'all know. I got to. I got to hop in for the NFC Championship game. Our second appearance with J.J. McCarthy in it. This should be special. Ooh, okay. J.J. McCarthy, it's time to shine, man. It is time to shine. Why doesn't he have the superstar thing under him? That's kind of weird. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need it. Gets us to his 97 speed guy, and we're off into the secondary. And J.J. McCarthy looks just as good as the last time we played with him. This is ridiculous how good he is. That's fine. There was nothing there. Great pressure by the LA Rams. I believe Aaron Donald's probably retired by now. Yeah, because I don't see him up there anymore. There's no big 99 up there. I don't know if we have enough room to throw it deep, but our tight end is wide open. He makes a great catch. As J.J. McCarthy is zipping that ball. He's zipping it. He's just zipping it, man. Look at this. I like Bennett here. He still has his legs. Can he make that throw? Yes, he can. Touchdown, J.J. McCarthy. And that is how you get the NFC Championship game going. Do we got the... If we, we, yeah, we got one more drive in us. We got one more drive in us. I want to try to take it all. Take the top off the defense with Johnson. Yeah, we're going to take the top off. We're going to take the top off. Can he lead him right on the money? Yes, he can. And Johnson, it's a foot race. Touchdown, Buccaneers. And that is what y'all like to see. Just like that. Oh, my God. All right, we can jump forward now and get through this game. As the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are up 21-0. And this is 24-0. 
The Bucks are going crazy. The Bucks are going crazy. 31 to 7. Look at oh yeah, they definitely got this one. This is a dub. 38 to 7 as JJ McCarthy, and for the first time I think in our career sim, we will actually be present for the Super Bowl. 41 to 7 were the numbers. 380 yards and four touchdowns. And Michael Johnson ended up with 182 and two touchdowns. He's caught the two touchdowns that we threw. J.J. McCarthy's headed to the Super Bowl. Foreshadowing for when he will be headed to the national championship this year. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is special. The, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited, man. My favorite quarterback, and he's doing the best. I did. And we have the Ravens in the Super Bowl. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be interesting. We're going to go ahead and check our developments before we hop into the Super Bowl and see J.J. McCarthy is a superstar. And I'm looking. Okay, so none of the ability slots are full. That's more of what the issue is. We'll throw sideline dead eye on him, inside dead eye, and long. Oh, and, and he does get. Okay. So he does get a pass lead ability now. Nasty. So inside dead eye, sideline dead eye, perfect accuracies, and pass lead elite for J.J. McCarthy. And he also has a X Factor receiver. Two superstar offensive linemen. Even the defense looks good. X Factor, Wusu Koromoa, superstar safety, and some pretty doggone good players all over the place, actually. This is a Super Bowl win for us. We're only going to run probably one play in the Super Bowl. Not one play, but like one drive. Just because I don't want to impact it too much. This is a career sim. But we definitely are hopping in, though. We finally made a Super Bowl where we're actually present. I can't let this opportunity pass. We're playing the Baltimore Ravens, and nine times out of ten, yes, it is Lamar Jackson. This should be fun. I'll see you guys in the game, man. We're in the game. We got the Baltimore Ravens. JJ's first throw, and y'all see the zip on that son of a... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. JJ's on the road. JJ's on the road. JJ. JJ's going to get a Super Bowl. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is the one. This is the... No! Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh, man. I might have just sold my boy JJ. I feel like I got to get him back. I got to give him a chance to get back. I got to give him a chance. I know we said we'd run and run. I got to give him a chance to get back. And I'm not, I mean, he's slinging it. Wallace, great play. It's going to be a shootout here. It's going to be a shootout. I can already tell. See what we got here. Coach wants us to run verticals again. We drop back. What? Who is number 90? Flanagan. What a play by him. This is not a game JJ can afford. This is a legacy game, man. This is this is how you figure out who you are. He throws one rainbow ball. John Johnson drops it. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. There's no way. X-Factor receiver's not dropping that. Come on, Madden. We got some good blocking here. Dot. And there goes Gardner. What a throw. What a dot. We're getting into the red zone. I want to hurry him up here. I want to hurry him up. See what we got here. Wallace. Check down. Well, I don't know who Sasser is. Sounds like Sasser, the backup point guard from the Pistons. But, hey, we'll take it. J.J. McCarthy, the, the no huddle has been getting the Ravens off kilter. Nice. He got the ball off somehow. And the tight end takes it down. Darren Cox. That... Oh my goodness, what is that, our guard? Let's see what we can get here. I want to get this ball in. JJ, quick off his feet, and he does it again! JJ McCarthy gets in the end zone. Unfortunately, it looks like the Ravens are having one of those games. Oh wait, some fight from JJ and the boys? Not enough fight. Oh my gosh, man. That blows. So JJ McCarthy makes it all the way to the Super Bowl 
and the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson dominate. One touchdown, two interceptions. Lamar Jackson, three touchdowns, one interception. It was a bloodbath out there, really. That sucks. JJ so far has had a pretty doggone good career, though, if I do say so. Like, it, it, it's been impressive. He's made a couple NFC Championship games, made it to the Super Bowl. All he has to do now is get over the hump. I feel like that's, that's what we're missing now. He's got to get over the hump one time. So, now we'll be headed to the next season. I will see you guys there. Hopefully, we continue to bring in more talent to possibly get a Super Bowl going for JJ. Okay, so JJ McCarthy going into this season is a superstar. You see the team, pretty much nothing has changed. Our tight end did lose his dev. Defensively, however, team is still also pretty good. Really, like, I don't see any huge changes. I think we lost maybe a linebacker. But for the most part, the team is pretty much the same. We're going to get to the playoffs this season, hopefully. And then, you know, we'll probably jump a little bit forward in time. Really bad season as we went A and 9. It's not even a bad season, just not what we're accustomed to. J.J. McCarthy, 3,800 yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Rushing yards. We really haven't gotten a running back in here that can run the ball that well. J.J. McCarthy did have 300 rush yards and 5 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Michael Johnson's still been the guy. He's been special. 22nd ranked offense. That kind of blows, as we already know it does. Okay. So, we will jump... We are in 2031, and uh, let's just check how old J.J. is at this particular point in time. 28 years old. So we're going to jump into, I wouldn't say four years to get to where he's 32 years old. So we're going to jump to 2035. I want to say 2035. And I will see you guys there. And gentlemen, we are at four years in the future. I believe this is 2035, right? Is that what we're supposed to be? That is where we're supposed to be, and that is where we are. 3-0 to start the season. And yes, J.J. McCarthy is X-Factor. And this team is ridiculous now. Let's go ahead and look at the numbers for J.J. over the last couple years. As we go ahead and look at the stats and contracts. These numbers are ridiculous at some point, right? So we left at, I believe, 2030. So 2031, 3,800 yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. 4,400 yards, 36 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. 4,200 yards, 40 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. And he's starting the year off hot this year. Now, if you look at the awards, he won MVP back-to-back -back years. He's also been the league leader in passer rating. He's also had four Pro Bowl appearances. J.J. McCarthy is becoming a stud right before our eyes. And he's still rocking with the guys he got here with, with Johnson and Wallace, his X-Factor teammates. The defense is still decent, not great. But J.J., is, uh, yeah, he's that guy. Let's just, let's just be honest. He is that guy. All the way now at a, just want to make sure I got this right, uh, 96 overall. He has all the abilities, all the bells and whistles. We'll go ahead and throw Hot Rod Master on him and Fearless. One of the few quarterbacks we've been able to get the stack with. And then, the question is, has he won a Super Bowl, though? As we can go over here and check league history and see. Okay, so the Tennessee Titans won it. The Chargers won it. The Rams won it. Oh, and that was the one he lost in 2030. So, no, he doesn't have a Super Bowl. Might end up being the best quarterback to never win one if he can't get one down the stretch. We started the season off right. I'll see you guys for the playoffs. Yes, once again, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make the playoffs. This is special, man. Okay, well, let's go over here and look. J.J. McCarthy... <laughs> Another crazy season. 4,300 yards, 39 touchdowns, four interceptions. He also has six rushing touchdowns on the ground. His receivers are ridiculous. Also, his tight end is pretty doggone good. Michael Johnson still that guy. 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns. End season awards. MVP for the, I think it's the third straight year. This is definitely his third MVP, though. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. 
Uh, best quarterback he also brings in. His legacy score is going through the roof. Do we hop in here? He's an X-Factor quarterback, but we're not going to hop in. Let's go ahead and get to the divisional round for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They do win. Oh, boy. Do we hop in here? Against the Cardinals. I feel like I don't want to advance and we miss an opportunity with them to play with an X Factor. So we're going to hop in here, play one quick one, and then we'll go from there. This has been one of the more exciting careers we've had. I'll see you guys in the game, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the division round. And, and this is important, man. I, I can't tell you guys enough. This is important. J.J. McCarthy, first throw is the craziest throw I think I've ever seen in Madden. What a dime. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. No, this did not. No, 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 no. This is the best one. This is the best quarterback we've had. Dot touchdown. Just like that. Um, I don't I don't know how he loses. I don't know how he loses. We're going to run two, and then I'm going to get up out of here, man. We're going to let him handle the rest. But that ball that he threw, another one? No, the corner, corner. What a play by that corner. Nice speed by the corner there. Two for three, 75 yards and a touchdown. I think the starting receiver that has the speed, that is our dynamic guy, is actually hurt. He's going to get into a big tight end threat here. Wallace has been with us, it seems like, JJ's whole career, honestly. Which is kind of impressive. Because usually guys move and everything, but he's been here. Been one of those guys. And we're going to go ahead and take it. Fourth and four at past the 50. I feel like with a quarterback of J.J. McCarthy's caliber, you got to go for it. He's clearly a stud. Oh, he's, hey, yo, 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 yo. Oh my, he got hit. Oh, that was actually a great throw. The Cardinals are going to go down. They don't score. Maybe I got one more in me. I got one more in me. Let me see if we got Witherspoon over the top. Oh yeah, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I gotta get out of here. I got. I got. I got. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. It's just crazy to see him this good. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead. Get out of here. Let's see if the Cardinals can beat them. Seven to three. JJ moving the ball, and JJ is just one of those guys now. He doesn't need any help from me, as it is fourteen to nine. But when he gets the ball, he goes down and scores. This might be JJ's year, man. The Cardinals are struggling. They turn it over on downs. They're struggling again. They turn it over on downs. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are headed back to the NFC Championship game. We don't even need to look at the numbers. We've been here before. This is our year. I, I can tell y'all right now, this, this is the year for JJ to get one. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. We got the Seattle Seahawks this week. We're going to hop in for one drive here. Scored on the first drive. However, we have our speedster Johnson back this week. And I feel like since we got him back, why not take a shot? And Johnson, just like that, is out of there. What a play. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and jump around, though. And the Seahawks are scoring at will. J.J. McCarthy is struggling. There's no way he doesn't get to the Super Bowl this year, right? He goes down, puts it in the end zone. We got a tie ball game. The Seahawks end up punting. Tampa Bay gets the ball, punches it in. The Seahawks are struggling offensively right now. You don't want to struggle against a quarterback like J.J. McCarthy. As he throws a dot, it looks like, and gets back in the end zone. We're in the third quarter. A touchdown here will put it out of reach. It's 31-17. Seahawks trying. They can't get in. This looks like a J.J. McCarthy win. And it looks like it's going 38-17. 45-17. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are headed back to the Super Bowl. Oh, my goodness. What in the name is going on? They're back. And J.J. McCarthy with an MVP 
season has made it back to play the Cleveland Browns. Now, this is a game, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to hop in at all. We're going to hop in, I'm just not going to play any. As we go ahead and get into the Super Bowl, this is wild. Also want to make sure we get our upgrades, and I will also check to see if we got any dev trait movement on the team before we hop in here. Let's see what we got for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Johnson's still an X-Factor. Two X-Factor tight ends. Superstar linemen. Defensively, we got uh, two superstar defenses, one on the end, one outside linebacker, and we got decent corners and pretty good secondary play. This is the time for JJ to get one. Let's go ahead and sim through this game and see what happens, man. Okay, so it's 7 nothing right off the bat. JJ's kind of struggling. I'm getting worried for him. It's 14 to 7. JJ's got to get one in the end zone here. 17 to 7? JJ's got to fight. It looks like he's got no fight. 24 to 7? Okay, 21 14. I, I'm not. I, I can't hop in here. I can't hop in. I, I got to just let it play out and it hurts. JJ's pushing the ball down the field. They do have all three timeouts. Possibility he could get a stop here. They don't get a stop. Cleveland's going to kneel this one out. And Tampa Bay loses another one. 24 to 21. JJ with three touchdowns, no interceptions. He couldn't have done much more. And once again, he falls short of glory. Oh my gosh, man. This has been painful. <laughs> Three MVPs, whole bunch of numbers, but he can't get over the hump. And we're going to go ahead and get to the next season. I, that one stings. All right, my people, another season with J.J. McCarthy. And I, we really got to start checking on this Michael Johnson stats probably too. This guy's been ridiculous since he got in the league playing with J.J. Pretty much been, no, not pretty much. He's actually been with him his whole career. The Bucks are still a great team, man. Still got a lot of talent, a lot of young studs. We lost one of those stud safeties though. But I, you got to think if they ever get over the hill. Let's go ahead and advance it. Let's go ahead and get to the playoffs and hopefully they make it again. Like, dog, this is starting to get bad. 13 and 4 with the number one seed. I, I mean, just another great season, right? JJ McCarthy, this season outdoes himself again. 40, almost 4,700 yards, 41 touchdowns, six interceptions. Rushing on the ground, 265 yards, seven touchdowns. Receiving Michael Johnson, Witherspoon, and Dalman. All go over a thousand yards. All have eight plus touchdowns. This is ridiculous. Man. Like, this is the greatest career we've had by far. Let's go ahead and look at the end season awards. And yes, MVP again, JJ McCarthy. Also, Offensive Player of the Year. Also, the best quarterback. He's been electric. I don't even know how else to put it, man. Let's go ahead and advance into the divisional round. We got the Vikings. Got to be able to knock the Vikings off. We got the Falcons. We're on our way to the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. We're on our way to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! We got the Super Bowl! Oh my gosh! This has to be the one. This has to be the one, man. We got to win this one. I don't know what else we can do. If he loses this one, we're, we're getting into uncharted territory. Let's go ahead and look at the roster one more time, man. See what we got. We got another superstar X Factor receiver. Defensively. I, this team is ridiculous, man. I, I don't even have any more words for it. How crazy we've gotten as a team. We go sim through it. And this has to be the one. I'll see you guys in there. And we are at AT&T Stadium.
in the first drive, J.J. McCarthy means business. He go down to score seven. Buffalo gets three. J.J. goes down and gets three. He gets the ball again. This is the one. This is the one he's going to get it done. 24-3. to 24-6. to six. J.J. is not playing around. He's not going to be denied. 34 to 6 so far this season, so far this game. And they win it! And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and JJ McCarthy win the Super Bowl. And an illustrious career is capped off by a Super Bowl championship. Oh my gosh. What a time to be alive. J.J. McCarthy finally handles business. 34-6 in Super Bowl 71. As we have to go check the stats for that game. Where, where can we see the stats for that one? Let me go ahead and check the schedule. I also like to check league history right quick just to see. He did win Super Bowl MVP. He is going to Disney World. Special, 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 special. As we go over here, I wanted to see the stats for the game. I think he had like three touchdowns maybe. As we go to the schedule and see. Yeah, four touchdowns in the Super Bowl, 293 yards. What a game for J.J. McCarthy as he finally gets over the hump. Look, man, I'm advancing to 2039. Actually, 2038 because I don't want to get too far. And we're going to see where J.J. McCarthy is. At this point, I feel like he'll probably be retired by then, possibly, as he's already 34 years old. But we will see. Because we're 34, about 37. So we'll advance to 2039. Just in case anything, anything shysty happens and he does retire, we will go ahead and check the numbers and see what the stats look like. As right now, I mean, these numbers are ridiculous. <laughs> 41 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. 39 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Four straight seasons of over 4,100 yards. He's been a demon since he hit the league. This guy's ridiculous, man. I'll see you guys in three seasons. I, I can only imagine what he'll do next. Y'all, we back. And yes, we on the Dallas Cowboys. Crazy that we playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I would have thought we were still on them. J.J. McCarthy did move on in the later stages of his career. 36 years old now. A lot older. Uh, but as we look at the last two seasons that we missed, He's, man, still ridiculous. 4,200 yards, 28 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. 4,100 yards, 32 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Like, this is, this is GOAT stuff, man. I can't even say it enough. It's GOAT stuff. He has one, he actually won an MVP, it looks like, last year, too. Wild. So, he has one, two, three, four. Four MVPs. No, five MVPs? Yo? Hey, yo? Nah, this is wild. We gonna go ahead and get to the end of this season, man. This is, this is, if I had to guess, this might be J.J. McCarthy's last year in the league. He has one year left on his deal as well. But we gonna get to the end of this season, man, and see where he's at. And y'all shouldn't even be surprised at this point. Another season of J.J. McCarthy making the playoffs in another dominant season. 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. He's still getting it done on the ground even with 549 yards and 7 touchdowns. I mean, just in case this is his last season, man, we really got to go look at these stats. This is kind of crazy to see how good he has been. I told y'all this one was probably going to be wild just because we've seen him in the background of other career sims, right? And the numbers have been off the charts. So, he had a season with 11 rushing to No, that's wild. Okay, so, 18, 22. I don't want to mess this up. 29, y'all make fun of me in the comments. 29, so then we get to 29, say that's 35, 40. 
46, 47, 52, 52, 4, 58, no, yep, no, 56, my fault, 56, 59, I'm doing the math, man, uh, 56, 59, 61, 63, 65, 66 rushing touchdowns, I want to see, let me see, well, I'm just going to look it up on my phone, y'all. Most rushing touchdowns TDs by a QB all time. To put that in perspective, y'all, he would be second all time behind Cam Newton, who has 75. That's pretty wild, considering passing-wise, he's a freaking animal. This is ridiculous. Like, dog, I, I don't think he won the MVP this year. This is the Dallas Cowboys team. If you guys, you know, want to see it. Not that great of a team. Pretty interesting that he was able to make the playoffs with this team, honestly. Um, Stats-wise, uh, yearly awards. He won it again. Like, duh. oh, no. Nah. Offensive player of the year and best quarterback. Once again, J.J. McCarthy. This is a... He, he, Special, man. Special. As we get past the divisional round, we actually finally go home. I'm going to go ahead and get the next season. I don't know if he'll still be around, but we'll see. I don't think you guys should even be surprised JJ still hasn't stopped playing. Like, I, I, this is wild. Okay, so now he's on the Texans. He's a superstar quarterback. He is on his last legs. The odds of him making no playoffs are probably slim to none. But we'll see. If he does, I wouldn't be shocked, though. So, y'all, it seems like even the greats even decline. The Texans do not make the playoffs. J.J. McCarthy with his first bad season. Not really even bad, just some part of his standards. 3,600 yards, 25 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. No rushing touchdowns. Year 16, they still had the fourth-ranked offense, which is nasty. As we go ahead here, and let's get to the next season. I think that's going to be it. Y'all going to think this is crazy. But he went to the Patriots. Not only did he go to the Patriots. J.D. McCarthy went to the Patriots. 3,800 yards, 32 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. He also came back with 3 rushing touchdowns. He also had the 7th ranked offense. He also was in the MVP conversation. And he almost got, he was also on the best quarterback and offensive player of the year. Somehow, even at this advanced age, he got the number one seed. And the Patriots have a stacked team if you look at the overall. We got the Chiefs in the divisional. And J.J. Falls. Now the question is, is it finally over? I would think it has to be. There's no way he goes any further after that. What a way to go out on your shield, but I just don't see it. I don't know what to tell y'all. He doesn't want to stop playing football. He still got so much left in the tank, maybe. This is, okay, now this is finally a dip. 3,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. The backup was actually getting some run. 18 years in the league, J.J. still running around a little bit as well. Still somehow made the playoffs. We didn't have to check the awards because y'all saw those numbers. He didn't win no awards. The divisional round. We get by. Uh-oh. The, the, the next round, they lost. Okay. Now, now this is getting a little concerning. There's no way he keeps playing. There's just no way. And it's finally over, man. One of the best careers we've ever had. This is a crazy. Like, I can't even explain it. A Super Bowl. Three NFC Championship games. A total of six MVPs, I believe it was. And if I, it might have been seven. The record for MVPs in the NFL. I just want to make sure I got this right. Peyton Manning has five. He destroyed that. J.D. McCarthy was possibly the greatest. I think he might be seen as the greatest quarterback of all time. Now, he doesn't have the Super Bowl to back it up. But what we can check is the NFL record. So, over a career, he finished just fourth in passing yards. 
Passing TDs. He finishes fourth in passing TDs. Rushing TDs, I don't think he should be anywhere up here. Um, so those are those stats. Season-wise, I don't think he broke any records. Probably not. None that I can see. But pretty doggone special. I also wanted to see just for, you know, purposes. Michael Johnson, that young receiver, was he able to make it? He was not, unfortunately. I don't see him up here at all. Funny to say, C.D. Lamb is actually way up here. So is Jamar Chase. Anyway, top four in all statistical categories. Broke the MVP record. J.J. McCarthy was the GOAT. And hopefully he can channel some of that GOAT energy for the Big Ten Championship game. But without further ado, man, please like, comment, and subscribe if you knew. I'm AJ1K, and y'all already know. I'm out of here, man.